Hey guys, Hackexploit here, back again with another video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to generate a backdoor or a PHP backdoor with Weavely. All right. So you might have heard of Weavely or you might not have heard of Weavely. And essentially what Weavely is, uh, it is a, a PHP shell that will give you a connection like SSH uh, so that, you know, you can execute system commands. And it essentially gives you backdoor access to the server that, uh, or, you know, the, the target that you've hacked. All right. Uh, so. Uh, you, it comes pre-installed with Kali Linux and Parrot OS, so you're pretty much good to go. Otherwise, uh, you can find it in GitHub. Uh, it's very, very easily. Just uh, search for it on Git, GitHub. It's Weavly, W-E-V-L-Y, okay? Um, so it offers a lot of um, a lot of post-exploitation, uh, you, you know, advantages in the sense that you can... Um, you can spawn reverse shells, you can execute commands, and you know, that is pretty much all you're going to need once you, uh, once you've exploited a server. You know, you want to leave, uh, you want to maintain access in that server whenever you like, and Weavely is fantastic. It's actually really, really powerful. Now, I know I, I, I actually mentioned, uh, on the community section that I'll be making a video on Nikto and, um, and, you know, th things like the Medusa or, um, or the other web vulnerability scanners. Uh, but I actually, I'm going to be working on an entire new series for that because it is a, a large topic and I don't think that I can cover it, you know, uh, I can give it its full, um, I can cover it to its maximum potential few set of videos. So I'll be working on a large project for that. So uh, as we did in the previous video when we were hacking WordPress, uh, we m managed to brute force uh, the WordPress installation and we got the username and password. So we have got, uh, we have we have successfully exploited the system. Now we need to maintain access. So it's getting a little more interesting. So I already have the WordPress server running and I already know the password. So I'm, ju I'm just going to go to the, uh, there we are, it's already loaded up. So I'm just going to log in now. Oh, it's actually logged in already. So I can just go to uh, WordPress admin.php like so. And there we are. All right. So we're already logged in. And uh, now, as I said, uh, you know, we can upload a PHP file that uh, if we redirect to, and we obviously know the name of the PHP file, if we uh, upload it to the local directory, it means that the web page will process your request and it will return that. And then you can, you know, you can connect to the, uh, to the, to the shell that you've uploaded, which in this case will be generating with Weavely. All right. Uh, so, you know, generating a, a PHP shell with Weavely is really, really easy. And we're going to be looking at uh, that right now. So just open up your terminal. Right. And uh, I'm just going to zoom in uh, so we can see what's going on. All right. Awesome. Let's get started. So uh, the syntax is really, really simple. So Weavely. Whoops. So it's Weavely. Uh, so it's pretty much as simple as that. W double -E, -E, e L Y. Okay. So Weavely, and then we want to use generate. All right. So we're telling Weavely to generate. Uh, so it already knows that we're telling it to generate a PHP shell. So it's going to now uh, the the next piece of uh, of information you need to enter is the password for the shell. All right. This is very important so that only you have connection and only you are able to use this backdoor. Right. So I'm just going to use a simple password like one, two, three, four, five, you know, something really, really simple because I don't want to use anything complex. Now I'm going to store the PHP file on my desktop. All right. So you, I'm just going to specify the location I want to store it in. So root desktop and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to give it a, a now this is where social engineering comes into play. Now, obviously, uh, most of, you know, if we're, we're talking generally speaking, and I know I'm doing this on my lab. Uh, but in, in, in reality, now web servers are probably going to be monitored, uh, by their, you know, by security teams and they're going to be snooping around for, you know, weird, weird files, uh, with weird naming. So if you name it backdoor, you know, you're just looking for trouble and that can, you know, that, that can expose you really, really badly. Uh, and you know, I'm talking, I know I'm, I'm talking from a black hat's perspective, but I'm just giving you an idea of how, uh, you know, how these things are thought through. So, uh, what I would do is I would name it something like, um, uh, let, let's see something interesting. Like as you saw in the previous video, a 404 redirect. All right. So 44.php, right. That is the extension that we're going to use. So now, uh, if when I hit enter, it's going to generate it. Uh, there we are generated backdoor with password 12345 in root desktop uh, and it's 1469 uh, uh, bytes in terms of its size and here it is so it's a php file if you open it up 
uh, everything is encoded. So it's, uh, you know, if uh, anyone found it, it would be a matter of, um, of, you know, reverse engineering it. All right, so we need to upload this to the server. And luckily for us, we have the file manager installed on WordPress. And you know, it, it's really, really simple to do this. And obviously if you crack the FTP protocol, you can also upload it like that. So uh, one would go to the WordPress file manager and you need to upload it to the root directory. Otherwise you have to, you know, go through subdomains, which is also a great idea if you upload it, uh, you know, in, in with the image specification and use uh, image upload um, vulnerabilities, uh, you know, let, th that's basic web penetration testing. Uh, but for this, we're just gonna keep it simple, you know, and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to, whoops, it's not allowing me to upload. There we are, upload files. And I'm going to select the file, which is on my desktop. There we are, 44.php and it's already uploaded. And uh, now, uh, you know, usually if I hit uh, an unknown web page, it would reply with something that is uh, completely vague, right? So what I will do now is um, I will just, I will enter the address. So 192.168.1.108 and 404.php because it's uploaded locally uh, to the, uh, you know, local directory. So I'm just going to hit enter and there you are. Now, this is a good sign. If it doesn't give you any result, it means that the script is already active. Now, you might be wondering, well, what do we do now? How do we connect to this? Well, we connect to it th using Weavely. All right. So let's get started with that right now. All right. So what are you going to do? It's really, really very simple. We're just going to use Weavely. Weavely as the command, obviously. And now we need to connect to it. So we're going to specify the web page. So HTTP, we have to use the protocol. So 192.168.1.108 and we're connecting to that script or that shell. So 404.php and then we specify the password, which in this case was 12345 and it should exploit it immediately or uh, give us backdoor access. So I'm just going to hit enter and there we are. And now we can execute commands. Awesome, man. This is so cool. So if I hit LS, you can see we can access uh, all the files that exist on the website. And this is extremely dangerous. You know, this is just giving you access to anything on the web server. And, you know, you have complete access of everything. And as you can see, uh, if it's running on a server, which it is, you can then, you know, navigate backwards and you're essentially in the in the root um, directory. Uh, of the entire Linux server, which you can, you know, exploit further and uh, cause a lot of damage. Now that again, I'm passing out as a disclaimer, I do not encourage you doing this uh, to any site because this, you know, this can cause a lot of damage. And yeah, that's essentially how to generate a backdoor. I know it's pretty, pretty simple, but again, really, really powerful. But the real trick is, as we know, is exploiting a system. That is the real trick. You know, once you're in, you can do a lot of damage and you can maintain access and the systems administrators wouldn't even know a thing. You know, uh, usually, uh, well, uh, I actually uh, had first hand experience with this where I was a system administrator and, uh, you know, the image, it was actually hidden in the images folder. We using, you know, the image uh, upload um, vulnerabilities that essentially allowed a user to, well, exploited the upload system where the user was able to, you know, with burp suite, were able to modify the, the upload. Um, they were essentially able to, uh, to change the extension of the image to a PHP file after they had uploaded it. And then, you know, through burp suite, they had forwarded it uh, and the packets and it got sent and the image was uploaded. And, you know, there you go, exploited as simple as that. So again, uh, website security is also supposed to be top notch and uh, yeah hopefully you guys found value in this video if you did please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on my social networks uh, if you have any personal questions hit me up on kick and yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll be seeing you in the next video peace